today I'm standing here on Pine Mountain in Georgia. Now, there's lots of places in Georgia called Pine Mountain, but this one is special. You see, in June of 1864, Union Army was pushing down from North Georgia to attack Atlanta. Well, the Confederates had some emplacements on this hill that they used primarily for signaling and defense of a railroad that was located in front of me in that direction. Now one day, a group of Confederate generals, including Leonidas Polk, rode up here to get a look at some Union artillery emplacements below the hill. Now amongst those Union soldiers down below this hill was General Sherman, and he saw these guys come out in front of these earthworks behind me, and that worried him because they were obviously getting a look at his position, scouting him out. So he ordered his soldiers to fire a volley of shells up here. Now the first couple shells came in and it scared off all of the staff and other Confederate officers. They ran away, but Polk stayed there. A couple more shells came in and Polk, who was standing kind of like this, took a shell in, threw his left arm, cut him nearly in half, out the other side and exploded in the trees behind me. And he fell right where this marker is. Now today, this is kind of a fairly unknown location. There's not really anything here. It's in someone's backyard, but I thought this would be an interesting story to tell you. One last thing I wanted to point out is that this area where I'm in now is where General Sherman was in front of me here. It's where the Union cannons would have been. You can see the spots for the barrels, the embrasures on the sides there. And this is actually behind a church now. And where we just were is directly that way.